Many have asked why after the fanfare that greets the commencement of such high profile cases, such as that of a former national security advisor, Colonel Sambo Desuki, former governors of Benue State, Gabriel Suswam, Adamawa State, Murtala Nyako, and his Imo State counterpart, Ikedio Hakim, very little is heard about these cases, which linger for many years. Major cases still going through the courts include one against a former Minister of Petroleum, Mrs. Daisyani Alice Maduike, which has been deadlocked following failed efforts to have her extradited from the United Kingdom. This senior advocate of Nigeria, Jibreen Okutakpa, blames it on the parties, litigants, and lack of thorough investigation by anti-graft agencies. When it comes to cases in court, there are certain fundamentals that have led to what you are seeing in court. One, investigation may not be as thorough as it ought to be. And so most high-profile political cases get killed at an infancy, the investigatory uh, stages, because of selfish political interests. Senior advocate Musibao Adetumbi also shares this school of thought. He believes inadequate facilities contribute to the delay in prosecuting cases. Point number one is that it's very difficult for us to assemble evidence. Go and look at our criminal cases, go and look at the law report. Usually we rely on confessional statement. And it's easy to get confessional statement because all you need to do is to torture the man. But in high profile cases, you cannot torture them. You can't torture them. You can't torture a former governor. You can't torture a Zavin senator. It's not easy to do that. So torturing is out of it. Despite the challenges faced by the Nigerian judiciary, some, however, believe the judiciary has made progress in the dispensation of justice. One of them is another senior advocate, Audu Anuga. I believe that a little bit of progress has been made with regards to the speedy delivery of um, justice in the country. But having regards to the challenges that um, we've inherited, where we're coming from, the legacy uh, challenges with respect to court rules and how um, justice delivery has been conducted, um, there definitely is a lot more work that needs to be done. He further calls for more manpower for anti-graft agencies. If you take it like on a statistical perspective, if you take a mean, if you take it through all the cases, even though with the increased volume, uh, you find that the courts are actually resolving, you know, a, a huge volume of cases more than they used to do. Uh, so, so the volume is contributing to um, what is going on. So one of the ways that we can improve the speedy dispensation of these criminal cases, one, uh, would be to employ more uh, practitioners uh, within these uh, new agencies that are coming up. If the various points raised by these senior lawyers are implemented, Nigeria's judiciary may well be on its way to quicker dispensation of justice.